When it comes to storage, I think the answer to all of your questions is pretty simple and pretty cliche. A place for everything and everything in its place. I know, it's boring, I'm not a cliche girl, but it works. Kids, what do I do with all their stuff? It just gets more and more and more and more every day, every year. How do I store it all? And how do I store it in a way that kids will know where to go and find their things and then maybe put them back? For my daughter, Bibel, who's almost seven, from a big box store, there is a white kind of lacquered laminate unit, very inexpensive, with just open square pockets, where I can house any kind of vessel and label it in any kind of way to put all of her toys. Now, when she was tiny, it was diapers, it was blankets, it was crib sheets. Now that we're almost seven, she can read. So there are tags on every single little beautiful fabric box that I love and would put in any room, adult or kid, and it says the word tea sets, wigs, and she knows where to find her stuff. When kids can't find their stuff, that's when it gets crazy messy and your life gets crazy bad. So you've got to organize and you got to store right. The junk drawers. We all have this space in our house. So what I suggest is finding an apothecary of sorts. Now, what is it? It's a chest of many little drawers. They're like old card catalogs in a library. They are in your bait and tackle shops. They're usually pre-war, and you can absolutely find them in architectural salvage shops, and they are worth every penny. In each of these 100 drawers, I labeled all my weird stuff. What it says on the label is actually in the drawer. So normal things that I store that you'll probably store in your apothecary when you get it after you watch this. Tapes, strings, and twine, cords. Oh, it's a great place to put all your extension cords and old tech cords that you don't really want to throw away. This is that spot. So when you're dealing with an older apothecary, to make the labels look old so it looks more in relation to the piece that you just purchased, which is typically over 100 years old. I soaked white paper in a black tea for about 30 minutes, and then I just laid them out to dry on the counter on some towels, hair dried it a little bit, and then I marked it up, cut them, and I wrote each label out. And there were 100 drawers, so it took two hours. In the long run, I mean, I've maybe switched out the labels once or twice here and there, so it's not like you're doing this all the time. This is a piece that is coveted in my house. Everybody who comes in wants this piece. It's command center pre-war style, and it's awesome. It doesn't seem to matter how big your kitchen is, we all want more kitchen storage. I have an apartment-sized kitchen, so finding more space for storage was tricky. You have to be tricky when it comes to the kitchen because each cabinet costs a lot of money too. So whether in a more vertical apartment like my own, which has about 11 foot ceilings, or a very standard size home, which has eight foot ceilings, I always build the cabinetry all the way up from the floor to the ceiling. Use every single square inch. Now, how do you get to those higher cabinets? A sliding ladder is something that is so affordable and we were doing for hundreds of years. And they look great with beautiful modern cabinets or very traditional cabinets. All you need to do is build a reinforced rail at the top of your first upper cabinet where you can hook that ladder on. Whether it rolls or just hooks is up to you. But what it lets you do is get to all that upper storage where you're gonna put your seasonal stuff, whether it's Christmas, whether it's your table linens, whether it's the stuff you only bring out at Thanksgiving. Another thing that I did in my kitchen for storage that made it a little bit more unexpected, I invested in some beautiful Bauhaus little grain bins. They were from the kitchen of the future in 1921. So what they are are little metal drawers that have this gorgeous curved handle. The labels on these metal drawers are in German. Now, I speak many languages, German isn't one of them, uh, so I did look up what each of the, <laughs> the labels meant. 
and it lets me put rice, macaroni, sugar in a really easy, practical place to access, but it adds the femininity that the cabinets were missing. So when things are in the right place, just like for anybody, designer or not, when you know where your stuff is, you stop working for your home. Your home starts working for you. And that's when life gets good.